Okay, on a flat roof, it took us six people to bring up the material from that bottom of there. I always say you can go over any roof. You can uh, put a membrane, the torch down over any roof. And there's a lot of naysayers, they don't like what I do. But I've done it for 35 years, it works. Let me show you what I do. First of all, this is a lead coated copper roof with all the seams and they had many, many leaks over the years and they cannot fix it. And they, uh, a month ago, they had somebody put cover tape over this. They still doesn't work. So we finally got called in. So on this lead coated copper, you have a uh, silver coating, aluminum asphalt. Somebody thought they're gonna seal this roof with aluminum asphalt over the lead coated copper. It did not work. Then somebody came a month ago and put cover tape, EPDM cover tape over this. EPDM cover tape does not work. You got it, that's why they never work this. Look, um, see there? A, see what is loose here? It just pulls up. Pull it up. Uh, Look, that's it. No work. It doesn't work, doesn't stick. That's why it doesn't work. Idea. Somebody else came and they caulked this. See the caulking? Didn't work because the caulking doesn't stick. I'm going to show you what I do. Always prepare. Um, I first remove the aluminum asphalt coating around the perimeter so I can attach my membrane. That's the, crit the critical part, okay? So you want to remove it like this. Okay? All right? So I use a grinder and I remove it around the deep, the, the vent pipe, like that. That's the first step, is to get wherever you're gonna attach the membrane on a perimeter, you need to remove it. Another way to remove this aluminum asphalt is to use a torch. I use a small torch and you can see, I heat this up. So after I got most of the aluminum asphalt coating removed, I come with a grinder and I clean it up and I take lacquer thinners and I clean it up even better. But that's how you do it, okay? Please give me a thumbs up for that one. That one. Sweetheart! Sweetheart! That one. Just thumbs up for her. Please. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you what the problem is. You hire people off the street and they have no clue what they're doing. It, we, we just want to take over. My wife is taking over there just to do it because they are so slow. <laughs> Thumbs up for her, please. Looking <laughs> here, we need to remove that caulking. See the caulking there? She does the camera work, but today she's jumping in and doing the job because everything going too slow. So the next step is to use a peel and stick. That's my first base I'm putting down as a peel and stick membrane on top of what I have here. So I've cleaned the edges, I've cleaned the flashing around the vent pipes, I've cleaned it around the hatch here. Everything is ready. Let me explain something. Everybody have their own technique and methods. This is my method, okay? You don't have to criticize me for my method. I do it the way I do it, and you do it the way you do it, okay? But my way works for 30 years already, 35 years. All right, let me show you. All right. Well, I want to explain something. Um, so when I put my base down, I don't want to put my base down all the way close to this vent pipe. I want to leave at least like a cutout like this. Let me show you. So I cut the circle out like that around the vent pipe. Okay. So the vent, the, 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 the base does not go all the way to the flashing. I'm going to show you. I don't take my base all the way to the edge here, but I'm going to show you how to adhere my membrane to this. So, and I'm going to show you how to adhere the membrane to this area where we cleaned it down. I take the, the peel and stick. I take it out. Mm -hmm. So the other side, 
and do the same. All right. And this is a self-stick base. All right. It will adhere. So the moment it gets hot, this is going to stick to every surface. And you can see there's a mark for you, the overlap. See the overlap? So that's a good, uh, a convenient thing to help you show how far to overlap the, uh, the, the membrane with each other, okay? So I roll it out. So, oopsie. And I take the plastic out. We pull the plastic out. All right, so we only been, the sun is not even hot today. And I wanna show you some. I can barely get it up, see? Look. That's how well it sticks, okay? Very, very good, but... So, we got the base done, and it's already starting to stick. You cannot lift it up. So here's the next step. It's probably the last video I will make about this. And this is for people who want to know. I'm gonna show you. So I take a piece of membrane, and I'm gonna cut where the the pipe is supposed to be. I'm gonna cut it a little bit deeper to somewhere there. Okay. Okay. And then I cut my pipe out. Just like that. So Okay. <laughs> Once I got that fixed, I put that member in there, and I take Karnak. This is what I take. Look, Karnak 81, trial grade. You need to see it. it's trial grade, and by Tumen adhesive. I use that, and I smear it around here. Okay? Just like that. But this is something nobody knows. This is a trick I've used over many years. It works. It works fantastic. That's why you don't want to bring the base all the way to the corner because I need to stick my... I need to do the flashing here. And that's it. The flashing. So the next step is to take the plastic off. Now, let me show you. This is thin layer of plastic on the back of this. You see that? That's a thin layer of plastic. You cannot just leave this and, and stick it to glue or anything. It's not gonna work. You've gotta burn it off. So I take a torch and I burn it off. You can see, come close this way. Come very close. Look, see the plastic burning off? That's it. Just like that. All right. So the plastic is off now. All right. So now I take my membrane and I show. I put it around this pipe. So you put your membrane down like that. Okay. All the way around. And you squeeze it out like that. Look. You squeeze it out like that. Beautiful. And that's it. That is how you do flashing. Beautiful. See that? Will never, never leak. So now, you take the membrane and you, you melt it to the base. That's it. I'm melting it to the base. So now, this membrane is secured to the base. It can never come up. And now, I'm gonna show you what most people do when they do torch down, which is wrong. And I'm gonna show you what's right, what the, the right way was, well, my way. Here's what most people go wrong. They heat up this membrane like this. All right? 
and then they apply it to this metal, like that. It doesn't work. In two years, three years from now, this will pop loose. Uh, the, the membrane got expanded and you, you stuck it to the metal. The metal didn't expand. So that is what most people do and I want to show you the problem. This is what it is. It doesn't stick too well and it will come loose. Especially when this gets cold and brittle, it will pop loose from the metal. You cannot just torch to metal. The other Show reason video together to show you why you cannot torch to metal. This is the base sheet. Let's assume you, the, the conventional method is to put a base sheet right to the end of a roof, okay? That's the conventional method, uh, not as I showed you on a video, current video, where I put it short of the metal because there's no drippage. We're using the, the metal roof as a drippage. But in this case, let's say we're gonna install a drippage and we bring this uh, base sheet. I took the plastic off and it brings it right to the edge of the roof. Then you install a metal edging over this. That's the conventional method. That's why I, I, I made the other base sheet on the, on the roof, the video that you're watching, short to have that metal. But let's assume you're installing now a metal edging. So the conventional way is then you nail this down. Okay, like that. And most roofers would put like every inch a nail. When you heat this up and you want to put the membrane down, let's say you want membrane, I'm going to put this membrane down, okay? When you heat it up, look what happens here. You can see it's buckling. Look at it, it's buckling. See there? That buckle doesn't come back. You can see this buckle there, buckles there. So you have to put a lot of nails down to stop it from buckling. That's the convention, that's, most people do it that way. They take the membrane and they heat it up like this. And they, after they heat it up the metal, it melted like that and they melt it to the metal like that see how it oozes out there see and then so the metal gets buckled you can see how it oozes out there and it gets buckled but this membrane was expanded when I heat it up now. It's all expanded. It will cool down and shrink and puts pressure and stress on this joint here, on this uh, transition. And what happens is, let me show you. I'm gonna wait this, I'm gonna wait for this to cool down. I'm gonna show you what I do instead. This is my method. I use the car neck, okay, like this. I use this car neck and I smear this over the metal like that, just like that. I'm going to show you what happens. Different, much big, a huge difference. So when you do that, okay, the heat, when I apply heat here, it doesn't go to the metal. It, the heat doesn't affect the metal when I do this. Only this gets, I burn the plastic off, like that, and that's it. The heat did not affect that metal. Now, what happens is, all right, over time, the, the, the membrane was, ex was expanded, but over time, this, over time, this membrane will shrink and it will move, the tar that I added, I, what I use, will make it move slightly. It will move slightly over this metal. It allows it to move because this tar doesn't cure 
for at least a year. So here's the other side where I torched it, and this will pull loose in a matter of a year or two. This is what it looks like now. But this will come hard. It's right now soft because I just barely heated it up. It's still warmer to the touch. But this will get hard, especially in the winter, and it pops loose from this metal. That's why I don't like this method. So I just wanted to make a short video to explain to you why I do the way I do it. All right, keep watching this video. That's not good. So let me show you the, the, the what I do. What I do is I add a, a nice thickish coat of carnac right there. You see? And then I already burnt the plastic off, and all you do is you stick it. Beautiful. You never have to heat up the metal, and you squeeze this down until you see it oozes out to the edge there. See there? Just like that, a little bit. Not too much. Look. See that? Just like that. Just like that. And that's it. This is it. Very good. So now let's do the rest of the membrane. I'm going to show you the torching. You, 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 you get it lined up and you roll it back by standing on it. You don't get uh, roll it from the other side. You, ro you stand on it like this. Okay? And then... And then you answer the phone. Hello, this is Nas. Before I can roll it out, torch this, I need to put my Carnac adhesive right here. I put a nice bead down, and then I'm gonna torch this now. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna torch it now. This is a cell stick base, and I, I did my tar, my Carnac there, and now I'm gonna torch this. You just burn it slightly, the plastic is off there. out a little bit like that not too much that's it this is how you do it now um, I'll finish I'll show you when it's complete but please give us a thumbs up and subscribe and listen the thumbs up is not for me I'm a nobody she's somebody you are somebody that can do a thumbs up cost you nothing Please help us subscribe and comment and all right. So this concludes this roof. We did it, and um, it looks clean, uh, nice and clean. Never to leak. Uh, if you follow that process, you can do that with any roof, any flashing. You can do a flat roof like that, and it looks nice, uh, clean. We're getting all the stuff off now, and uh, this roof will never, never, never leak. That's it. Clean, clean, clean. All right. I'll see you in the next video.